Hi, I'm Adam Brooks, Product Manager here at Atlas Copco, and today we'll be going over how to prepare to run a grinder. Now to start off, make sure that you always have your PPE or personal protection equipment, such as a hard hat, gloves, safety glasses, hearing protection, safety vest, and steel-toed boots. Also, the most important thing when working or inspecting a grinder or tool is always make sure that you disconnect your air source from that tool. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do when you're preparing to run your grinder is always inspect the grinder itself, look for any damage or cracks. Also ensure that the handles and everything are tight and not loose. And also verify that your bolts and screws are also tight. The next thing is you want to inspect your wheel guard. Make sure that this is in working order. And also look for any damage or cracks in the wheel guard itself. One thing to point out, make sure that you never run an angle grinder without your wheel guard installed. The next thing that you wanna do is look at your grinding wheel. Look for any damage or cracks in the grinding wheel itself on the front, back, and sides. Another way to test the grinding wheel is to take a screwdriver and actually tap on the grinding wheel. If you hear a different sound somewhere throughout the grinding wheel, there could be a hairline fracture in that grinding wheel that you cannot see. And we do recommend that you replace the grinding wheel before starting your grinding process. One more thing to point out, make sure that you always look at the max RPM rating on your grinding wheel and the max RPM rating on your tool itself. For this tool, it has a maximum RPM of 6,000 RPM, and on the grinding disc, this has a maximum of 8,600 RPM. So as long as this number is higher than the number on your grinder, you can use this wheel without any catastrophic failures. All right, now that you've inspected your grinder and your grinding wheel, you want to test this before you can run your grinder. So the first thing, you're going to hook your air source back to your grinder. Then you're going to find a safe work area. Um, the best place to run a grinder is actually underneath a table or bench. So what you're gonna do is hold that grinder underneath the table or bench for about 60 seconds. And you're gonna listen for any um, abnormal noises, any different vibrations that are not normal, and make sure that the wheel, of course, does not fall apart or cause a catastrophic failure of the wheel. Once you have tested the grinder itself, you then wanna make sure you go back through the inspection of the grinder, make sure there's no loose parts, and make sure that there's no cracks or anything in the wheel itself. So this has been how to prepare to run a grinder. If you have any questions, please reach out to your Atlas Capco representative. Thank you.